You may be seated. Well, greetings, all family and friends who are gathered here today in the sight of our Heavenly Father and in the presence of all this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony which is honorable among all and therefore is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and discreetly and advisedly, but most of all with pure love. So I ask, who gives this woman in marriage? marriage is one of the most precious occasions in life when we're presented with the opportunity to enter into a timeless dimension of love. It emphasizes and reminds us that our lives have meaning and purpose beyond the day-to-day -day affairs of life and that love is the strongest bond and the greatest joy we can ever experience. We come together today not to mark the start of this relationship but to recognize a bond that already exists. In the time they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured. And now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Justin and Kristen stand in front of you today so truly excited about the years of marriage ahead. Their marriage will be the intertwining of two life stories. As individuals, they have had a unique and life-shaping past and now they are willing to choose to set aside the solitary exploration of those individual lives to discover who they are in the presence of one another. Justin, I got to tell you, I've known this young woman for a long time. When she was a little girl running up and down the basketball court with the rest of our little call your princesses. And as she grew older, through her high school career, watching her run down the soccer field and run around the track, and rapidly, I might add. <laughs> and then she's grown into a vibrant, beautiful young woman who has seen success in her educational and professional career. And of course, all of us were concerned when we first heard she met this Southern <laughs> Marine aviator. <laughs> My first thought was Tom Cruise in Top Gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are we going to do here? But I'll tell you, uh, she couldn't have picked a finer young man. And that was confirmed to me the other a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, when uh, we spent one of our evenings with the Dars and talking about our girls and their girls and, and the men that they've chosen in their lives. Alan said to me, he goes, you know, I know we don't arrange marriages in the United States, but I've got to tell you, if I had to pick one for my little girl, I'd pick Justin. So I think that tells you how her parents feel about entrusting one of their prized possessions to you for the rest of their lives. So we celebrate with them today. They arrival at this point in their lives. We are incredibly happy for them and the story of their lives that now includes each other and that their love has brought them and us to this joyous occasion of their marriage ceremony. So now, Justin and Kristen, it is your intention to share with each other your joys and sorrows and all that the years will bring with your promises will bind yourselves together as husbands. Justin, I have some very important questions to ask you. Justin, will you have Kristen to be your wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her and comfort her and honor and keep her in sickness and in health 
and forsaking all others, keep you only unto her all the days of your life. Justin, if your answer is sincere, state I do. And Kristen, will you have Justin to be your husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him and comfort him and honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep you only unto him all the days of your life. Kristen, if your answer is sincere, <coughs> state I do. So I'd like you now to repeat these vows to each other. Justin, I'll start with you. I, Justin, take you, Kristen, to be my wife. My partner in life. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hands to hold, so I give you my life to keep. Kristen, I'd like you to read these vows to Justin. I, Kristen, take you, Justin, to be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I love you today tomorrow and forever. I will trust you and honor I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hands to hold so I give you my life to keep. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have a reading from Mr. Patrick Barrell. Washington Street 12 says this. Put on then.